After watching this video, I can guarantee you no more stutters, no more FPS drops. You're going to be getting smooth, consistent frames and gameplay. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is join my Discord, link in the description. Once you're in my Discord, head over to the YouTube Tweaks channel here on the left and download the file that says signs, fix FPS drops and stutters. It'll be the latest file down here. I don't have it in here yet, but I'm gonna upload it after this video is posted so you can download it. Once you have the file, just go ahead and put it on your desktop here. You'll need to extract the original file with 7-Zip or WinRAR, but once you have it extracted, go ahead and open it up. This file is gonna be going over pretty much everything that can possibly be causing FPS drops and stutters. The first thing we're gonna do is open up this fixed Windows timer one. Open up this power run file here and click file allow command line and then drag and drop timer fix over it and that'll run it. I'm just kidding guys, this is all open source and you can see everything it's doing. It's just real simple BCD edit values here. And these all help with delay and especially FPS drops. And that's why we wanna apply these. So once you've ran that and put it over power run, just go back, open up disable HPET, Open up Device Manager, go ahead and expand this. In my case, it's already disabled, but look for High Precision Event Timer. It's under System Devices right here. It's gonna, just gonna say High Precision Event Timer, so I'll enable it for now. But just find this and then just click Disable Device and then click Yes. We just want that disabled. HPET is old and it's a legacy timer and nothing really uses this anymore, but in some instances, Windows will try to use it and that's what will cause delay and FPS stutters. So just make sure that's disabled. And then once you're done with that, you can close out of Device Manager. Go ahead and go back again and then click on number two, check HAGS. So this is Hardware Accelerator GPU scheduling. So we're going to open up settings here, scroll down, click graphics, and then click change default graphics settings. So this is going to depend on a case by case basis. If you're on the new 50 series GPUs, you generally want this on. You need this on to use DLSS4 and frame gen. That's basically the main selling point of a 50 series. So if you are on a 50 series, I'd recommend keeping this on. However, if you are having stutters, you can experiment with turning this off. For everybody else, I would recommend trying the opposite setting that it's on right now. So for example, if you're having stutters and even if you're on like a 30 series card and it's set to on, then try setting it to off and then vice versa. If it's set to off right now, go ahead and try setting it to on. This is honestly one of the biggest settings that can cause stutters and it just kind of varies per system. So I'd recommend testing it out with both on and off. So once you confirm that setting, we're good to exit out of this. Go back, go to disable game DVR. Again, this is all open source. You can right click and click edit it. All DVR does is this basically is Windows built-in game recorder. Obviously like 99.99% .99 of people don't use this and it's just taking the resources on the system. This is another huge thing which causes FPS drops and stutters. All you have to do to apply this is double click on the registry edit click yes and then click OK. On the next reboot, that'll apply and you don't have to worry about DVR taking up resources anymore. So once you're done with that, go ahead and go back one, go to disable startup apps. I have a task manager shortcut here, so just double click on this. Go into startup apps here on the left and then just click on everything and click disable. I have some things in here that I need enabled. But just for instance, if you have something in here like wallpaper engine and it's set to enabled like this, Click on this and click disabled. Ideally, you want nothing in here enabled unless you need it for some kind of optimization like timer resolution. So once you've disabled everything in here, go ahead and close out of this, go back, and then go to disabled defender correctly. Defender is a huge thing that can cause FPS drops and stutters. So what you're gonna wanna do is disable it using Sortem Defender Control. Usually if you go to defender and then disable it through the app, it's not actually disabling it all the way. There's still so many background services and processes that's eating up your FPS. So go to the website I linked here and then just click download. It's gonna download it after a few seconds. There are a lot of ads on this page so just make sure not to download the wrong one it'll open up this google drive and just name this so this is the correct one so just click download anyway so go ahead and just put it on your desktop once you have it just extract it with 7-zip there is a password to this file and it's just sortum so that's s-o-r d-u-m and i have it shown here just make sure that's the right password no capital letters or anything click ok and that'll extract it now what you're going to want to do is just open it up all you need is this top one here that says d control just open this up in my case i'm on my custom os where defender isn't even installed on the os so it's literally just completely stripped out it doesn't even exist but for you guys on a normal os this will be green and it'll say windows defender is on all you need to do is click disable windows defender just click that one time and it'll completely disable defender and then you're good to go you don't even have to keep this file on here for it to work once you click disable defender that change is permanent until you come back in here and click enable defender but i'd recommend just keeping it off so you're good to close out of that and then like i said you don't even need that installed so you can just remove it completely once you're done with that go ahead and go back the next thing we're going to want to do is check the available space on our drives so open this up open up this pc shortcut i have here and you just want to check your space here so whatever disk or partition your windows is installed on you want to make sure that this line isn't red so you can see i have plenty of space here i'm not even halfway full but if this line is closing up on the edge here and this line is 
red and that means you're almost full on space and that's 100 percent going to be the reason why you're having so many stutters so you just need to clear some space out either use disk cleanup go through your videos clips just start deleting apps clips anything that you have that you can just free up some space by deleting so once you verified you have enough space on the disk go ahead and go back go to import power plan so a good power plan is another big thing you can do to help fps and, and delay too I have a CMD in here, which again, of course, is open source. All this is doing is grabbing my power plan from my GitHub. But if you double click on this, it'll automatically download and import my power plan. This is basically the same one I'm using in my $100 ultimate service. And this is going to guarantee that your stutters isn't due to a bad power plan. So just make sure you're on my power plan or at least something like ultimate performance. Just make sure you're not on a stock power plan like balanced or power saving at the minimum. So once you're done with that, go ahead and go back and then go to check hardware. So now what we're going to do is just make sure that our stutters is not hardware based. I have everything in here. We'll need to test that the first thing you're going to want to do is open up this number one folder and then run this hw info installer just click run you can just use the automatic prompts on this or just click yes and install all the way until it's finished then click finish to launch it and then change this to sensors only by default it's going to be on full mode so just click sensors only and then click start and this way we can check the temperature of our cpu and just make sure that that's not a part of the problem so on this page if you scroll down a little bit you'll see here it says cpu enhanced and what we're looking for is just this top one here this cpu and it'll tell you the temperature of your cpu here so in this case the temperature is at 46 celsius go ahead and move hw info over to the left a little bit and we're going to run some tests so we can monitor our temps and i'll tell you guys what you need to be looking for too on an idle system like this amd runs a little hotter than intel on idle so anything under 60 is kind of decent for amd or a ryzen cpu on intel you generally want to be below at 45 or so on idle and then when we do the stress test i'll let you guys know what you want to be below as well so with hw info still open go ahead and go to benchmate benchmate installer this file is a gigabyte large so i didn't want to put it in the actual folder here so just go ahead and download it from the web. Of course, the speed of this will depend on your internet connection, but just wait for this to finish downloading. And then once it's downloaded, I'll tell you guys what to do next as well. All right, so just got done downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. Once it's open, just click run. You can close out of the web browser now as well. And then click install here. It might ask you again to run it like this or just click run again. It's gonna say configuring Benchmate. It's just gonna install it. So let it install here. It usually only takes like 15 seconds or so. So once it's installed, it'll automatically open. It'll also open this notepad, which you can just close out of. And what we're doing here is a CPU test. So we're going to see if our CPU is bad or if our temperatures are just high, aka if our cooler is bad or if we may just need to replace a thermal paste on it. So open up this Cinebench R23 one here. You can double click on it or just click launch once it's highlighted. It'll open up. It'll look like this. I'd recommend closing out of everything you can, even things like Discord, Chrome, and only have HW Info and Cinebench open. And then you'll see it here. It says CPU multi-core. Just click start on this and then open up HW Info. And while this test is running, what we're looking for here is the temperatures again. So CPU, this top one, you can see right now it's at 70 three while this test is running generally for ryzen you want this below 85 at the maximum hopefully below 80 for intel it's generally about the same you just want to be below 80 or so for intel as well on this test i'd recommend running this like three times so just click start again after the first test ends and then just let it go through over and over just do that three times make sure the temps are good if your temps are really high what, what that means is one you could have the default air cooler and your cooler just sucks you need to go buy a new one off amazon or it could mean that you need to replace the thermal paste for example if you've had your computer for five years and your cpu temps were good at one point but now your cpu temps suck then it's probably the thermal paste has just dried up so you just need to replace the thermal paste on it worst case scenario you run this test and you get an error and it doesn't even run a little white box will come up and just give you some kind of random error code if that happens and that means your cpu is degraded and it's damaged and that's most common with 13th and 14th gen intels at that point you want to play around with the voltage you may need to raise the voltage now that it's so degraded to get it to run properly but intel has a very good warranty for those cpus so you can warranty it get a new cpu and then lock the voltage lower once it comes in so once we've verified our cpu and temps are good with the cpu test we can go ahead and close out a cinebench we want to keep hw info open still go ahead and close out of this too and then go to this tm5 memory test here so once you open it up you'll be met with this mem test file here go ahead and open this up and this is open up tm5 as an administrator now before you do this i will warn you if your memory is bad your computer might just shut off instantly your blue screen this is not going to cause any harm to your components if it does shut off from blue screen then your ram is already messed up anyway but this isn't going to damage it any further all this is doing is testing it and we're going to make sure that the memory is good so once you run this as admin it's going to automatically start if you just want a general quick overview i'd run this just for like 10 minutes if your computer shuts off blue screens or anything like 
like that, then you know your memory is bad. You could be on a bad XMP profile, on a bad RAM overclock, or if you're on fully stock BIOS and everything, then your RAM kit is just cooked and you need to go buy a new RAM kit. It could also just say errors here and it'll just say one, two, three, or however many errors you have. I'd recommend running this for like two hours, but if you do just want a quick test just to make sure your memory isn't super bad, then just run it for like 10 minutes and you'll be good. So after you've ran this for either 10 minutes or two hours, whatever you do, you can just click exit and you're good to go. So after you've verified your hardware is good and you've done everything else here, then you shouldn't be getting any more stutters, any more FPS drops, and your delay is going to be way better as well. If you guys like the video, be sure to like it, comment what you want to see next, subscribe for more videos like this. I have tons of other optimization videos on my channel already. And if you want me to do everything for you, including more in-depth optimizations that you can't find anywhere else on the internet, book an optimization on my website, signs.net. I'll take care of everything for you. And that way you have full peace of mind knowing that you'll never have to deal with stutters, delay, FPS drops, anything like that. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.